Mission Force 96 here with another review. This time we have the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Avengers Thor from the Build a Figure Wave of the All Allfather. So, yeah. So there's Thor there. As you can see, the packaging, like I said, big fan of this style of packaging. I like it a lot. On the side, you do get a nice picture of Thor. Same one on both sides, just different directions. On the back, you do get a picture of the figure with his accessories, a very short um, bio of the character, and then the others in the wave. So far, I was able to find them all at Toys R Us except for Captain Marvel. I still haven't been able to track her down yet, but I am still on the hunt. Uh, as you can see, the Build-A-Figure is Odin, or if you'd like, with simply changing the head accessories and arms you can make it the all uh, the uh, King Thor so yeah so here he is now this is a character that you will need to buy to build either of uh, the uh, King Thor or uh, the Odin Odin build a figure they both use the same build a figure piece because he comes with the right leg and for both of those characters they use the same right leg so so either way you're gonna have to buy this guy so here he is now one thing that's quite attractive about this figure is it's its bulk it's very big now this is this guy is just about as big as the build a figure um, which definitely makes him very sought after I was quite surprised on that because it's Thor typically when there's a main Avenger they're very they're very easy to find because everybody's got a million main Avengers everybody's got a million Thor's Captain America's Iron Man so typically those are the peg warmers surprisingly enough this guy actually isn't um, I've been to many Toys R Us's and I've only seen him once and obviously that one time I did buy him um, and I've seen I've seen everybody more than once except for Thor, Scarlet Witch. I've seen both of them once. I've never seen Captain Marvel, and I've seen everybody else on the shelf at least two or more times. Um, so yeah, so if you are if you do find yourself in a position where you can where there's a lot of them, um, but you're you're trying to just pick a few, I would say to stick with those the the two women figures or Thor because Thor would be uh, quite rare and I'm very surprised by that I, I was expecting this guy to be a peg warmer purely based on his character um, because everybody's got Thor so who needs another basically but I think a lot of people are seeing the value in how how large this guy is and how uh, just really nice he looks so that's why he is um, relatively sought after so overall as you can see looking quite nice there he's very bulky they didn't skimp on the plastic on this one face sculpt quite nice he does have his helmet as well and the helmet is very cool with a nice kind of a uh, very shiny silver it isn't it isn't a dull silver at all same on the buckles as well as on his hammer and uh, his his legging there looking very cool the outfit not too much design in it relatively pla plain then you go down to the thighs though and they do have a nice uh, armor kind of scaled look which looks re really cool the legs are, are relatively simple too, but still very nice. Arms are quite good, they're very, very bulky, and they do have texturing of veins throughout them, which looks really, uh, really neat. Definitely uh, shows you his, his strength and his bulk. And then the back, he does have, the, uh, a, of course, a really nice cape. I do like the way the cape flows, I think it looks really cool. And it is, of course, red with a little bit of black um, uh, washed into it, which does give it a more natural and realistic look. Uh, this is the same cape that you'll get for Odin or the King Thor. It's just for Odin, um, it'll be blue instead of red. So yeah, overall looking quite nice. Articulation wise is is decent. He's not the best on articulation, but because of his bulk, you know, kind of makes up for it. But he still has quite nice articulation. Basically just a swivel head. I mean, it is on a ball joint. It's relatively easy to take off the ball joint, but because of his hair and the um the uh, piece of fabric coming down from his helmet, it does hinder his articulation in his neck. He's got ball hinge shoulders. They are on a very tight, almost like a ratchet to move up or down. Um, uh, so this is a relatively tight joint he's got a bicep swivel of course with such large biceps it, it unless you have his arm quite out far they are do, they are hindered when he's um, close to his body he has hinge swivel uh, elbows uh, which I would have preferred double hinge but hinge swivel still does work then coming down we have hinge swivel uh, wrists which are quite nice he's got ball jointed thighs with a thigh swivel and then double hinge knees of course very good and then just hinge um, swiveling ankles unfortunately does not have the ankle pivot which is one thing that just about every other Marvel Legends figure um, 
a modern Le a Marvel Legends figure does have, so it is a shame to see him not have that, but still, because of his bulk and accessories and everything, it is fine. He comes with his, of course, hammer, mirror, however you pronounce it. Overall looks nice, not a whole lot of detail in the handle. It does have lines in it, and he does have the strap, but it's a plain black, or sorry, a plain uh, brown, and doesn't have any um, other detail in it with paint. The hammer, on the other hand, is very nice. It is textured incredibly well. As you can see, looking really good there. Get a nice look at it. And then the silver is really cool with a very dark uh, black kind of wash throughout it, giving it a worn and really nice look, I have to say, looking looking very nice. Give you a little comparison of the bulk of this figure. Here's just some other figures in this wave. You've got Hawkeye, which I would consider a standard figure uh, size from this wave. And then you've got uh, Sent uh uh, Sentry, which is a rather bulky figure, so as you can see, he towers over both of them, really uh, kind of, uh, you know, going to the fact that he is quite rare because people are finding his his size rather, uh, rather appealing um, and definitely getting your money's worth, basically, with this figure. Uh, and he is just about as big as the Builder figure. Like I said, here's Odin, and Odin is a little taller, but, but Thor is quite bulky, so you can make a case that Thor is just as big as the build figure And then, just to throw in the, uh, the, uh, the father-son team here, we've got Loki. As you can see, they all look really cool together. Um, I thought, I think that when I got that Loki originally, I thought it was very strange looking and not particularly how I remembered him from the comics. Um, but I think that style of Loki goes really well with this Thor. So if you do have that other Loki, I think that they look really nice together. I, they might be from the same comic series. Um, I'm not sure on that, though, but they do look really good. I think the whole um, Odin uh, and Thor and Loki, those three figures together, look really nice, I have to say. He does, of course, come with a sword as well. So, you know, if the massive figure wasn't enough, he comes with this massive sword. The sword is quite nice. But as you can see, I do like to have Odin with it. I think that Odin kind of fits the sword a little bit better than Thor. I see Thor mainly just using his hammer, so that's why I kept him with the hammer and gave the sword to somebody else. Overall, would highly recommend this figure to all. It is a large figure, of course a character that is very well known and goes along with the Build-A-Figure, so if you're planning on building the Build-A-Figure, this is a great figure to have from the wave. Um, so yeah, so that's my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Build-A-Figure The All-Father Wave Thor. Thanks so much for watching.